Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and today we're going to talk about name call hooks and uh, just uh, meta method hooks and uh, hook functions and uh, like stuff like why you should use the new C closures and stuff like that. This is like the video I'm going to make before I show how to make a remote spy because this is like what you need to know well you really only need to know like name call hooks and like some other stuff yeah. all the time with my soul is tormented by sucky this call assist dripping from the way I spit fell in love this most simple stuff is probably name or uh, hook functions so basically just hook function I can go into here oh yeah this is just my documents um so I'm just going to go into the documentation so I have it f later but basically you just hook a function to a new function so this would change print to one so now if we re um, yeah this will just one instead then we could do hook function one That sh should make it into an error. Oh, actually, no. Hook function print comma error print test. Yeah. So that will always be the errors. This is just a random hash, I think, depending on like I don't know actually. And then like test because this isn't really like an error. It's line one, yeah. So that's basically like normal hook functions, but then you can also do like hook function print new C closure function. And so, why you use new C closures is because normal functions they work with it, but they are a lot easier to be detected. So, you just put it into a new C closure, which makes it easier. So, now we could do like uh, I think it's just wait. And one comma two. One. And uh, let's just test that. Yes. A uh, line one hook function. Test. Test two test test 2 that should work print yeah no output from Lua I'm not sure if you can do that actually um hook function oh hook function I'm not sure if you can actually get like the oh shit the uh, arguments for it or whatever function yeah right event comma hmm. self comma let's just do so this is just some basic like Finding stuff. I'm not actually sure if you can do this. And uh, no errors, right? Great. Uh, print. Yeah. Yeah. So now we have the orgs. So I'm quite sure this should test. Oh, is self the orcs actually? Oh, print test. Yeah, so this should be like the orcs. Sorry for that. Mm, now we could do like instance.new string value, comma, game dot. Like, I don't know, core GUI, just 
because it shouldn't have that much stuff like a local thing. No, we can't do that in here. We can't access Corgi because this is inside a hook function which is on the server side. I'm quite sure. No, actually no, we should be able to do thing dot value equals args thing dot name equals test that should work print yeah oh yeah I think it executes like everything because we have also made it into game core GUI no that doesn't work obviously test oh yeah that works so that just creates a like value with that so that's basically like just hooking to a function to an already existing function and creating functions of your own and how to get orgs of them so why we use these new C closures I've already talked about this is because yeah it it can't really get detected the same way that normal functions can get detected and yeah it's a lot more secure so yeah so I've just found this like random and cheat game you're meant to just like test the rant cheat and they like flex on you I don't know but yeah so this is quite easily bypassed by using a uh, meta method hook and this is it that's like if you want to like read it or something so I'm just going to get the um, raw meta table meta table game and then let's just set read only and gmt comma false and local old index equals scheme t dot index that will just get the old index let's just create a new c closure function i'm going to just name it self and key so the self is basically like um if i would change the like a uh, name of the base plate then the base plate would be self and the the name would be uh, the key so if uh, two string I used to use two string because that just returns the name like part or whatever equals equals humanoid and two string key walks b so this is make sure that it's actually the humanoid and that we're editing the walk speed then return else just return old index self comma key now just make a while wait loop game the players dot local player dot char character dot humanoid dot walk speed equals 500 so this should work yeah that's quite easy uh, I don't think that's R no that's not R script that's the anti sheet script so their anti sheet script is actually quite easy um, they actually have some problems in there too so like speed first thing I noticed was that they actually do if it's larger than 17 instead of doing equal or larger you, you should have just done larger than 16 and yeah you could otherwise just make a um, name call hook to the kick function which should also work I'm going to try to do that I guess and uh, we can do the same thing um, name call um, yeah name call self orgs if self yeah and no if wait what should I even do yeah it's just uh, oh yeah you do uh, get 
get name call. So basically, you want to sh save the method as a get name call method. I think that's the function. Yeah, I'm still new to this. Like, I'm not too good at same maps function. So why you need to save it into a local function is because if you would do it like a second later, it would just return the newest method, or well, name call. So then you do if method equals equals kick to string kick and then return else return self comma args and now we should be able to like go into get the game and not be kicked. I would guess so at least. Index. Yeah, everything looks good. We could do like check the caller too, but it's not really needed. We are, of course, we get some uh, errors. Uh, why do we get some errors? Do we actually need to check the caller? We shouldn't need to. Should also not need to do that, but. Get name called method, that's right. And then just return to string. Yes. Turn old. Um, I'm just going to take a look at that script again. Self. Yeah, it should be the humanoid. Uh, I'm just going to remove this and see if it still errors. Just then I will know which part of the script is bad. So, does this work? Yep. I think it's the returning. Oh no. Now it works. 500. Yeah, we don't get kicked. So I will just show you what would have happened if we didn't have that. We would have been kicked. Mm. Is there? Yeah, you're cheating. Do not cheat. I can just test if it is like only going to detect it if you run around. That might be why didn't get kicked. But I wouldn't guess so. I will think so. Cause that would just be weird. If I'm going to be obvious or an honest. And no errors right there, then it should be good. Five, 500. Walk speed goes per. Oh, that's actually weird. Uh, let's check this again. If two string. Yeah. Uh, there. Let's go into the players. Oh no, it's in the player group. Yeah, um, menu. Uh, not in the. Yeah, here. Is it really in here? Yeah, I think it is. Well, I'm just going to look in the starter group because this, this should be the same thing. Speed view script local play. Oh, yeah, equals equals game dot players dot local player. I'm just going to do this now. Yeah, that's why. So, still no errors. That should be good. Yeah, that works. Yeah, you can see that it errors because it can't kick. And yeah. Oh, no, it was actually this thing. You don't even know how to code that. Okay, yeah. But that's basically like the easy hooks. Um, I don't think I had anything more to cover. So yeah, bye guys.